What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Sayushi. I just recently ended up getting my hands on a quest, and I am a content creator, so I'm trying to capture it. Now, the thing is that near as I can tell, there's no way to actually end up capturing the quest outside of using the actual headset's recording capabilities. But you'll notice that the recording capabilities by default are going to end up being an absolutely god awful resolution, and it's going to end up being at like 20 frames per second. So, what we're going to end up experiencing in this tutorial is I'm going to explain to you how you're going to end up changing that and first and foremost that's going to be by enabling developer mode on the quest and there is so much misinformation online that talks about changing your quest to developer mode with the oculus mobile app which is not true the mobile app has since updated and all of those tutorials that i've seen online are completely irrelevant instead what you're going to do is get the oculus developer hub which i'll put a link in the description you're going to end up getting this on your pc and then basically what's going to happen is is you're going to end up opening up the app clicking device manager in the top left and connecting your headset now the app does seem to be generally really really buggy so i had to reconnect my headset like 10 times before it finally went all the way through but once it does then you can end up enabling developer mode now in the odd chance where you get to the part where the app wants you to sign in and it says this isn't a developer account or whatever that's where you're going to end up going to this website right here which i'll again put a link in the description you're going to end up clicking up here and clicking create this is where you're you're going to end up basically creating your company or your developer account you're going to associate this with your Facebook account that is associated with your quest and you're going to have to end up applying either a payment method or a cell phone in order to end up having this legitimized and then you agree to a bunch of crap and blah 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 remember that's only if you're dealing with issues with signing in on the developer app otherwise it should have all worked and gone smoothly next you're going to want to get the side quest app which is going to allow us to basically change a bunch of settings within the headset itself so you can download it i'll put a link in the description uh, and then once you have the app installed you're going to notice in the top left there's going to end up being a not detected so what you're going to end up doing is putting your usb cable into your headset uh, and then within the headset since you have developer mode now it should have an extra option that says always allow from this pc you're not enabling the linked cable. You're just going to end up making it so that it's always allowed from this PC. And then it should start recognizing your headset within the SideQuest app. So from within the app, you're going to end up clicking the little wrench or gear in the top right. And this is where, so long as your headset's connected, you're going to end up being able to change refresh rate and all the video capturing and stuff. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that no matter what settings you end up changing, your headset, once it restarts, is going to end up losing all these settings. So you're going to have to do this every recording session. So after I end up explaining how you end up increasing your video frame rate and FPS within these settings, I'm also going to end up showing you guys a bunch of custom ADB commands, but we'll get into that in a bit. So we're going to have to lower the refresh rate of the headset to 60 Hertz, and then you're going to end up enabling the full rate capture. What this is for is full rate capture basically makes it so that your video is going to end up recording at the frame rate that your refresh rate is at. So there is actually a command that you can end up using that is supposed to force the recording to be at 60 frame rate without having to readjust your refresh rate but even though i will include that later when i talk about the adb commands that command doesn't seem to work for me or a handful of other people so unfortunately this is our only option so then if you scroll down you can end up setting video capture size to 1080p uh, and then in the capture video bit rate it says it's for the go only but it does work with the quest you can set it from 5 15 and 25 and just so you know a higher bit rate means that the video quality is going to end up being better but it also means that you're going to have increased file size and increased performance dips within the headset and the games that you're playing so while we're talking about bigger file sizes one thing that i've seen people say online is that the oculus will actually stop recording a video once it reaches four gigabytes so try to keep that in mind with the amount of time that you dedicate to a video depending on the bit rate because as you have a bigger bit rate it means that you'll have to do a shorter recording session but that's basically going to cover everything you should be able to record the videos now at full 1080p 60 frames per second but in case you want to just use the adb commands you're going to click up here click custom command and then i'm going to have a bunch of commands down in the description that you're going to end up applying here you got to make sure that you apply them one at a time and i'll have a little description by what each of the different commands ends up doing but if everything's already working for you then you can pretty much just skip this step and just have fun because the adb commands are basically going to 
end up doing the exact same function at all of these clicked buttons ended up doing for us. But this is kind of a just in case those buttons didn't end up working for you kind of deal. So now basically you just got to remember to apply all these settings every time your headset ends up turning on. And then otherwise you're going to go into your headset options, go to the share settings, and then you can start recording right then and there. And all you got to do to get these files off of your Oculus is you just plug your Oculus into your computer, navigate to this folder, and then you can just access the videos and put them on your computer.